Hi there, I'm Roy and back again with my December update from Roy's, Roy's Model Row. Just finishing my cup of tea, or coffee in this case. Well, what have I done? I, uh, I resurfaced my shopping centre um, roadway because it was bubbling up and barely it was only printed on thin uh, paper off of my printer and it was lifting a bit so I lifted pulled all that up and I've used a Metcalf a cobbled stone streets and it's, it comes out nice and flat now looking all right also I've added a number of lights so street lighting and um, some lighting in the buildings and some signal lights which I'll show you later on but what I got today which is the uh, 23rd of December was from Hornby there's the, there's the model well, we've got four of them. I'd better put it out the right way and I four of these all different numbers or different track numbers and they are the cross country and I, I'm not going to do an unboxing I'll show you them when they're on the on the track they seem to have some nice detailing around the uh, the bogies here with some little piping picked out and everything but they was on the uh, they was on the um, what was it rails of Sheffield uh, website advertised four special offers uh, so I took advantage of them and the reason I got them was because I also bought prior to that this one which is cross country thing right that's the class 68 Oxford Flyer Chilton late modified with sound already fitted and uh, as I say I'm not I'm not going to unbox it here I'll, I'll get it on the rail on the actual track and show you but it the reason I bought them carriages as well because I thought the colour they're not especially I don't know as a prototypical then to be used on this but they that you can't seem to get an, an Oxford Oxford Rail, what was it? Oxford, um, this is an Oxford Flyer. You can't seem to get any carriages specifically for it. So they, they seem to match colour-wise and I thought they'd look quite nice going round with it. So wait till later on I'll show you all them on the track running round. So... Uh, that's about it. I'll see you. I'll see you in the garage with me trains running next. Bye for now. Well, here's me new Oxford Flyer on the track. Bring that in a bit. It's a day day pole model. Very good. Got. Got cab lighting and all sounds. Proper grills on it and um, seems very nice at the moment. I was, I was, I've just been running it in. One thing I was a bit unsure of, I don't know why that is, if anyone knows. See these, you got them pointed um, spindles there and then on the other end it's just two two dots and it's exactly the same on the other side I don't know if that's uh, anyone knows why that is might be able to inform me anyway that's it and then I've coupled that up with me new wagons let's get this over here And uh, 
Yeah, they've got quite good detail on the wheels, so I'm going to turn around and bring that in a bit. So you can see the little, whoops, the pipework on the wheels. Emphasised. And the uh, s springs. And that looks mm, quite good. So I've got four of those. Yeah. Now what I did do, it, I, on one of the carriages, or one pair, I've tried the, the spare couplings that come in it. I've only put them on the, the last adjoining carriage. And they're supposed to give a closer coupling to the normal... I don't know if anyone else has tried them before. Just give a slightly better coupling. Just the space in there to to there which is the standard coupling that it was fitted with so uh, something I'll try if it won't they seem reliable I'll, I'll put it on all of them but uh, that's the spare set in the box of the carriages just had an acquisition come through this morning from um, eBay second hand and I've got these carriages, main line. I mean, quite old, but they seem... I haven't, got them at, I haven't got them on the track yet. I've only just received them this morning, but they look all right. There's three of them. They, also, they seem in good enough condition. So, uh, I'll be trying them. Now, these are the ones I bought off of eBay, the uh, second hand. So these are the mainline ones. I've got these, uh, three of these for £26. So, uh, they're old, but they look perfect condition to me. Cause anything wrong with them, no, no problems running them around the track. And I've so got three of those, so that... I've got to go, I thought I'd run that with this um, what is it, uh, Western, Western Courier I had, which I've normally got just running the uh, goods train, but as an alternative, I can put some these passenger uh, ones with it. So uh, I'll set that running round the track. I'm going to see how I'm going. So this uh, is this is like a Metcalf, and it's a card rather than paper, and it seems to lay a lot better. No bubble, doesn't bubble up. 
and uh, so I've improved that bit. And then I say I'll put these these street lights in here, and they they go all the way down. They go down the high street at the back there. So well, I bought ten, so I use them up basically. So you can see they're going down there. Just managed to use them up. Look at that. Then I've added I've added some lights in the church. We don't show up with much of this. Um, well, I'll turn, I'll turn the lights out. Well, this is some of the uh, new street lighting I've put in, and one in the uh, shopping centre here. So I've got these, I bought ten of these, which go down the uh, along this little shopping precinct and along back down there along the high street. I think I already had these other, all these other lights uh, last time I played the video but um, I've also put some uh, these lights in the some lighting in the garage there uh, lighting in my church there and down here I've got a little, um, little depot parcel parcel depot and the engine shed put some lighting in there so that's that's that much. Now I've also added um, light into the little DMU unit. Um, the only thing is that it, the lighting goes out when it's when the train stops because this circuit is the DC circuit, so it's only live while the train is moving. Um, but I've put some people in there the as well. The other thing I've done is I've added some um, signals. There's one there. And I wanted to go further down here on the inner track. And it, that's got a, a right hand feather. That is because underneath that tunnel there's a point going from the middle track to the inside track. So that when that's... Uh, set to change it, the uh, feather can come on, um, and then I put another signal over there by the at the end of the station. I don't know if you can see that properly from there, but signal there, the end of the station. I've got, got to get some more signals, but. Uh, and this is a three aspect one and this works in conjunction with the the one at the station which is a two aspect so when the when the station one is red this is also red and i've got it on a rotary switch so when the, i can also have it as this is yellow when the uh, station one is uh, red and then when the station one is green they're both green So, uh, and uh, I've got a few other signals to fit in yet, but um, still messing about with them. Right, so to control these signals, I've used these rotary switches. Um, so, as I was pointing out, I've got two signals on this one. They're both both red there, or that's that's yellow. While the other signal uh, before it is um, red and this one is they'd both be green so in that position now beauty about these rotary switches you can get a lot of different combinations of how you want them lights to work because you can have up to 11 you can get up to 11 switch positions on it uh, now this again this one if I put out where I've got it blue, that's the right feather on on the one right down the end. That right feather. So um, that's what I found out. This uh, the best to use these rotary switches. I think if you want the signal, I've got another signal which is automatic, which is which is there can't see it from this angle I don't face the other way it's facing the station so 
when this this point, whatever, depending on what way this point is, one's red and the other one changes to green automatically. So, um, well, I'll leave it at that for now because I'm trying to keep it down to the, about 15 minutes. Um, well, thanks for watching, and uh, if you want to see any more of my videos, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.